What's the crack, lads? Welcome back and welcome to Season 3, which is kicking off. So it says that Season 3 is underway. The team for the season is back to the clubs. We did have a little trailer as well, so hopefully you guys have watched that trailer. I should have it up on the Twitter. And yeah, I mean, we're straight into Season 3, obviously, with V2.3.2. I think they probably would have expected to have uh, V3 out by now, or, you know, like, instead of just this V2.3. Um, but hopefully, by the time Season 3 uh, gets into a stride, which could be the next couple of weeks, we do have a new date for, you know, what's coming next. Because this season is going to be continuing from uh, this, the, fir or the 12th of January all the way through to the 13th of April. So, yeah, it's a fairly long time. So we've got three months, just under three months, well, just three months. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into everything, lads. We're going to go through everything. Mostly, we're going to focus on the gameplay in this one and the new uh, stuff that they talked about. And then we're going to go in um, in a different video and do our impressions. We're going to take it to eFootball League. So yeah, I'm going to get straight into this. So this is all about clubs. Obviously, the club campaign is back on. Um, it also says that in football world, seasons would be introduced at regular interview intervals, alluding to the season's team. A wide variety of player types would be introduced to help create a more immersive footballing landscape. Epic and Highlight pick up uh, some of the best players to have ever laced up a pair of boots, which allow for an even more unique team building experience. Trending players reflect the standout performance of high achievers in real world fixtures. There will be teamed events on offer, to offer too, so stay tuned. So I do like the sounds of this. Obviously, at the moment, I think we're in a bit of a lull with everyone has an unbelievable squad. Even if you start the game like a month ago, you're going to have an amazing team, even if you don't put in any money. We also hear that there's going to be new epic players dropping Drogba, Kagawa, Van Basten, and then we will have Van Nistelrooy, Vieira, and Shoikov as well introduced as big-time players. So we're going to get a look at those cards as well later. We do have some new nominating contract highlight players, uh, MVPs, club icons, and then we have an updated match pass, right? So we're going to get into all of that, lads. We're going to get into every single bit of that, and hopefully... Uh, if you guys are not at home to check yourselves, this video helps you out. All right, so servers are back on. We do have our login bonus, and then there is a new special login bonus as well. So um, Manchester United FC, a gift from admin, and then we get 50,000 apology. We get 2,900 there from my league, uh, there from my results in the eFootball League. Right, so we're going to go straight into it, lads, and we're actually going to focus at the moment on... A couple of the issues that they've talked about so the first one was unnatural player movement i actually did a video yesterday um so i'm hoping that this is fixed now man i'm hoping that this is fixed because it was a big issue uh and yeah hopefully you guys will see tomorrow uh, see the video that i already did of what i wanted fixed this seems to be fixed already in this update so yeah that is excellent um in terms of the players just you know stop starting and stuttering when there was a like a collision between if you ran for the ball um, I'll try and find it here one second. All right, so this is what I was talking about. This is from a video I did yesterday. You can see this unnatural movement here where the ball is just bobbling over and then there's this little stutter with Kimmich there, as you see there. Um, that was a big issue for me, same there. It was just like this unnatural type of movement and it did culminate into like, you know, passes and the way that the players would actually move. So look, it is good that they are looking at things like that. I, I think that's kind of where the future of this series lies is fixing issues that pop up. So they do talk about that. And then they also discover an issue and they say that a fix will be implemented in the future update for double touch, which has been really abused. I mean, double touch when it's work, when it's done with Neymar or somebody like that, um, you know, is is kind of a, is probably the most like dominating skill move in the game. Um, but there is like a really, really quick way of doing it in, in succession um, from left to right, right to left. And you can do it very, very easily. It's probably too much. To be honest, it's too, uh, too OP, so they are looking at that as well. Now, so moving on to known issues that the dev team are aware of, right? So these are just a couple of small little bits. The file effect on cards, on special cards, and the special effects on player of the week player cards are not displayed correctly. They also talk about when users who have created a match room access... Uh, and another user enters the buttons displayed at the bottom so these are just all like small issues they don't really bother me too much i'm not going to pay too much attention i just want gameplay man so they just talk about general fixes here um apply to mitigate or eliminate the bug shown now i would have liked genuinely i would have liked a lot more here 
Um, this is very bare bones. It just says general fixes for certain players inputting the double feint will result in the player performing the double touch without any tra transitional movement between each feint, right? So, yeah, it's a bit confusing because they talk about it here um, where they discovered the issue, but they didn't really say that they have a fix for it there. It's just the way it's worded. And then they obviously say that they have now fixed that double touch within that, right? So in regards to me, man, right, in regards to the gameplay, I would have liked to have seen them talk about pace. Obviously, V3.0, like V3 is going to be the huge update for them whenever that does come. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go through the authentic events as well and just give you guys everything that we got here just to show you everything. So there's a European club championship against the AI. Uh, you get 30,000 bonus points for that. It says you can take on three match levels using featured clubs. So this is obviously going to be normal clubs. Um, and these are all the clubs that you can pick here. So you can use a lot of different clubs. They're, you know, seemingly going to be opening this up a little bit. You've got Madrid in there. Um, you've got Tottenham. You've got Liverpool. You've got City. It's pretty much, you know, un unlicensed clubs there, really. Some of the biggest ones there. Um, so that's going to be interesting as well if you're looking to play an offline challenge with a proper team. You've also got the events for Dream Team, which is the bread and butter of this. So they did talk about new seasons and how they're going to introduce that. But for the events at the moment, which is available right now, we've got the English League. You get a chance deal. That's the same as playing against the AI all the time. Um, the Lunar New Year campaign is the new campaign. Um, this is pretty much just rinse and repeat. You just play with English League players. You can either play against it or play with the AI, let the AI and just do sim mode. Um, and you get your chance deal, which you'll get to in a second. You've got your rinse and repeat Spanish League and English League events as well. So there will be new events coming in Season 3. There's just nothing there today. So these are basically just against the AI. And this one is the 50 eFootball coins. Um, and all you have to do in this one is one point. So one point, three points and five points. So yeah, that is the events. A little bit disappointing, obviously, to kick off Season 3. And then we've also got our eFootball League as well um we did finish in season or in division two um so we do get our rewards and then we obviously will be starting in division five um i will have the rest of the dream team chronicles based on this journey that we got to division five you don't want to see how i i lost division one status lads it was absolutely disaster but anyway so moving on then lads the rest of this stuff and as i said look i said in a comment a couple of days ago I thought we get a new match pass, we get a new event, we get new campaigns, we get new cards. And that's pretty much what we've got, right? So we are going to start with the New Year campaign. So this is very similar to the campaign we had last time um, with the four legends, but this doesn't seem as good. We are going to be getting, what, about a, maybe like 400,000, 360,000 GP. We're going to be getting a lot of trainer points. You're talking about, what, 260? uh 310 you're talking about nearly 400,000 trainer points and then you're talking about 5,000 e football points um and then there's a special campaign login bonus that you're running here special tour event the rewards we boosted during the period of the tour event and then the special uh challenge event as well introducing a high cal caliber versus ai events featuring some of the best clubs so we've already seen that and then you also have the bonus objectives um, and clear the in-game objectives as well. They're just the objectives that you always get um, with the missions here. So there's new objectives that are being tied in to this, the Lunar New Year. So, you know, it's the same thing, man. You've got your your goals and uh, your eFootball League goals in the phase. You only need to score two. And then they will they will obviously stack and unlock as you unlock them. The same as normal. Um, we also have... What else do we have? We also have new Epic players, Van Nistelrooy, Schmeichel, and Erwin, um, which get, we'll get to in a second. We've Player of the Week as well. Um, that Manchester Derby one is nearly gone. We've got the Point Shop. We've got new players in the Point Shop, as far as I can tell. We've got Demi Kellys, um, and that's why they're probably going to be giving away. I think they should unlock this a little bit more, man. Yeah, so we've got Demi Kellys there. Um, he is the new legend. We will do a review on him um because he looks quite decent to be fair obviously he's not that fast but he's got 13 levels to go and he is going to have that b form he is only got 70 he's a his team play style proficiency it's the older version of him um so that's kind of quite interesting as well um and then on top of that lads yeah it's just going to be you know we have a new match pass which we'll get to before we get to the cards so this match pass you're going to have the regular match pass which yeah i mean all the way up you're going to have a five star agent there um you're going to have a lot of trainers you're going to have a lot of contract renewals 
well, you're going to get one, and then that's where it stops. Whereas this one, you are going to have more with the value pack, uh, which is 500, and then the premium pack is going to be 1,000. So Musiala is the, is, the, is the option here for the value, and this guy, Terrier, I mean, look, this guy, in my opinion, is such a bust for a player that's going to be like a thousand really because you need a player that is like a must-have in my opinion like you definitely need a player that's a must-have Musiala is a good player but there's been a lot of ver lot of versions of him uh, I do like the way that he has super sub he's got I will do a review on them um, but that is the match pass and then the rest of the stuff man pretty much is the new contracts and what's going to be coming so we do have the Manchester United. We've got Van Nistelrooy, Schmeichel and Irwin. I will do a review on them. I mean, Van Nistelrooy looks fairly decent, man. He looks fairly decent. Um, I would have liked to have seen him on one wavering form. But yeah, we're going to train him up if we do get him. Um, we'll spin a few for him, maybe. Schmeichel, obviously, being a United fan, I'd love Schmeichel. We've also got these Worldwide Player of the Weeks. There's some really good players in here. Are they going to make it into your squad? Well, Dembele should. I also think Ronaldo should. Absolute tank of a player. And there's a couple of good options here. I mean, you've got a 96 rated Moreno. That's really not that good when you look at it. And this is why I always say, don't worry too much about overall. But Dembele, 90, 90 and 92 for the dribble and speed and acceleration is incredible. But you can train him up with the standard version, very similar to this. We will do a review on all of those as usual. And then we also do have the mid-season MVP. So this is what I like, man. I like players that you can buy um, with nominating contracts. We do have two nominating contracts, so I will be doing a couple of reviews on these. And these are the two players I like. The Napoli uh, wing winger, um, Kavrashkelia. He is an absolute beast, and he trains up very, very nicely. We'll get a review on him going. We'll have a review on all of these. Also, Timber there as well. Timber's in as a centre midfielder. This is the first time he's been in as a centre midfielder, even though he can play right back. He cannot play centre back as a primary position, but he is only a three star with 28 levels to go. So a very unique player as well. Um, we've also got Gabby. Uh, Jesus, he looks unstoppable as well 26 levels you can see that the finish and the acceleration and the offensive awareness that's going to be insane we will do a review on him and then we've got Pedri there's been a lot of versions of Pedri but he's definitely going to be worth it just to try him out um and yeah there's some nice players in here you know you've got ja uh, Siemens as well or Simons Javi Siemens Simons um he's got really nice uh some really nice passing stats as well so we will get into a full review of them and then we also do have the club icons. So obviously these are players that are iconic for their clubs, hence the name. Um, and again, we will have Munain. We're definitely going to buy Munain, lads. He's an absolute beast. We're going to try and get him. Um, we'll also probably get Shamey as well, just to have a little different uh, squad. Rakitic, Brady, Declan Rice looks very, very solid as well if you missed out in the England pack. And yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. We will go, um, we will go and do the reviews for them. Listen, I mean, it's kind of what I expected. I think that they are looking at like season three or V3 as being the big, big one. Um, and I also think that the best thing about it is that like when we do get all of these, um, you know, campaigns underway, I do think that we are going to be, you know, into the flow of things, right? So we do get a free free pack here, a free spin. Imagine if we get Venice right first free spin, lads. It would be epic. Really would be epic. I've no sound, so I can't hear. No, it's not going to be an epic trying to drink my tea as well English League who do we get it is a four star we will skip on we will skip on it's Auba all right we already have him and then also on top of that as well as you're going to have a lot of changes to the players um you know as well like their their costs and stuff like that as they always do so that is it lads from me I think that's pretty much everything covered in 14 minutes hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i will talk to you later let me know what you think i'm gonna have my impressions out quite soon when i play a bit of gameplay and i'll talk to you in a bit peace